Hey, we are Chris and Teresa and are obsessed with all things fiber and guiding you on your fiber arts journey. We own a successful fiber processing mill, an online needle felting business, experienced at raising all fiber animals, and are renovating a hundred year old school into a fiber arts retreat center. Processing, needle felting, yarn, roving, fiber animals, and our renovating progress are all topics discussed here. Think of this as your one-stop shop for advice, information, tips, and getting your questions answered on all things fiber. From raising the animals to the finished product and everything in between. So pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be inspired while you learn. This is YouTube. Welcome to YouTube 238. So this week we had a pretty busy week, actually. It was a very busy week. And Monday, well, what was happening Monday, on the weekend? Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, let's see. Um, there was something. It was a long time ago. Anyway, they... <laughs> On Monday, we went to, was it Monday? Yeah, Monday night, we went to Bismarck. We went to Bismarck to mm -hmm. receive an award that we won. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, we had the pool tournament. Oops. <laughs> so we won this economic diversification award from Main Street, North Dakota. Uh, we went to the governor's residence to get... Mm -hmm. to receive the award and mm -hmm. and it was monumental because it had the main street awards have never been given from the governor's residence, residence. yeah mm -hmm. first one so, so it was all the other winners mm -hmm. um, from all across north dakota mm -hmm. were there yep um, yeah so that was monday and then tuesday afternoon uh, we started shearing the sheep, mm -hmm. and we started around two, and then went till what, eight that night, mm -hmm. and then uh, all day from seven thirty, seven thirty in the morning till on eight. Wednesday till eight, and mm -hmm. then we started at seven on Thursday and went till nine thirty. It was yeah, about nine thirty yeah. when mm -hmm. we finished, and it was kind of chilly. Of course, it's been beautiful winter here. It has. And during shearing, it had to be cold, of course. And now, and it's still kind of chilly. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, we have a nice new barn. That was it was. Yeah, you got plenty of room for everybody to be inside if they want to be. Yeah, and it was. I mean, we could. In the old barn, <laughs> we froze to death. But in this barn, it was tolerable. Yeah, it but wasn't bad. When you're slightly cold all day long, it just really gets to you. Yeah. Wears you out. Yeah. So. Yeah. But it was, we had a lot, most of our, I shouldn't say most, I would say <laughs> the sheep look a lot healthier this year than they did last year. So last year was the shearing after we had the salmonella issues in our flock and a lot of them were still struggling to get their health back. And, so and you had some deaths then after. Then we did the because next day. the stress caused more deaths um, after shearing, and uh, this year it was a lot more fun because <laughs> I, as the wool is coming off, you can see that they are quite healthy uh, and doing well, which is a lot more fun to see. Mm -hmm. And the wool was um, in really good quality, mm -hmm. uh, really good shape. Yep. And so that's always fun for us to see all of the, the different breeds. And this year um, I had made these this little spreadsheet so that we could see all of the different breeds and the variations of breeds. And we had a lot of fun, you know, setting the different um, combinations of wool beside each other and comparing them. And mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a lot of fun trying out the new uh, crosses and things mm -hmm. to see, um, to we're, we're always working on improving the the quality of the needle felting wool. So, mm -hmm. and then for also for other products that we're um, making to mm -hmm. to get uh, better qualities that will. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, the CVM is usually really short, mm -hmm. so trying to get some length on that. Um, which which has been working, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the CVM doesn't 
wet felt um, as well because it's so springy. It, it's, it's tough to get a really firm, firm felt on it. So what we've been doing down in the mill is, is blending. Um, blending the Cormo with the CVM. And now Teresa's done this genetically, which is awesome. And yeah. so you've got the length, and you still have the fineness, and so we're super excited to um, to try the we different. We have a bunch different. of stuff, yeah, mm -hmm. washed downstairs, so mm -hmm. we're going to soon be able to see and play. Correct. Mm -hmm. With a lot of those crosses. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, and then we start lambing. It can start next, is it Thursday or Friday? Thursday. The 29th. Thursday, because the 28th is Wednesday. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So that's coming very fast. So we still have that a is very fast work left to do in the barn, uh, setting up all of the lambing jugs mm -hmm. and getting ready for that. So that's kind of exciting, waiting for that. Uh, mm -hmm. There was, I don't know, it's a good time to see who's pregnant and who's open and I don't know what the average, I was going to figure that out, but... Mm, every year? Um, yeah, the... Um, I don't know if we had like six that were open mm -hmm. this year. I don't know. Something like that. I would that. have to go down the list. Mm -hmm. And then um, we had Libby helping, and she was writing down all of the um, like the quality of the wool, the body condition of each of the sheep, and um, keeping track of that for us. And there was like sheep that weren't on there and there was so I spent the rest of yesterday afternoon after we were done shearing uh, trying to get that all organized and figuring out who was missing in my records and who was yeah it's always fun I think we're very close reconciling the, <laughs> the sheep <laughs> <laughs> nice well it was tough because you had a couple you purchased some sheep so you had a couple different Right. Little small herds some, coming in that yeah we purchased some sheep that came during lambing that were mm -hmm. not tagged and yeah yeah and then there was a bunch of the weathers mostly that lost their tags i don't know what they're doing <laughs> so that's frustrating because i really like to keep track of mm -hmm. who's the mother who's the father who's mm -hmm. and there's no other way the ewes all have two tags but the lambs only have one so and if the, they lose it, they lose it. Yeah. And the ewes have one metal tag that usually stays in pretty good, but it's harder to read from a distance. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. yeah. But, yeah, mm -hmm. it's more important for me to keep track of them than, than the weather. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that was fun. Yes. But glad to be mm -hmm. done at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, the rest of the week, in between all of those activities, we have been discussing um, repackaging of the kits, which has been on my mind for years, and we're finally going to do it <laughs> before we go to our first wholesale market, and um, mm -hmm. putting them in boxes, and we're just trying to figure out all the words and everything to put on, all, what you know, what it should say, and having it uh, look Branded best. properly, the yeah. text and the, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so hopefully, hopefully we will have a reveal. Yeah, hopefully next week maybe. Uh, yeah, we'll see. we'll see. If we like it when we get it. Ugh. Scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we're kind of in a rush because we want to have mm -hmm. this all ready before we go to Chicago for the So not only then, do we, then we have to load them. Mm -hmm. pack and package them. Them, and package yeah. them and get this all ready by, yeah. Well, we have a month. And we've been working on our booth mm -hmm. and our coordinating outfits. Mm -hmm. We're going to, it was coming together. Yeah. It's going to look pretty sharp, we think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's still a lot of Classy. other things that we're working on mm -hmm. to try and make it, um, make us look as professional as possible and mm -hmm. have all the uh, information that we need available for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And then we, worked on our punch needle earlier. Mm -hmm. You made a little video of us working. I did. And we, so Chris has been dyeing the yarn mm -hmm. and we had some. Yeah, got a little. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> and so I it's decided variegated. to make mm -hmm. a, a monstera leaf. And then Chris, you got out of a book. 
Yeah, Mary an iron-on thing. So she picked an iron-on. Mm -hmm. And ironed it on. And it's, it was, you know, and I, it was very detailed. It's strawberries. And we were kind of and wondering strawberry if it, leaves. Yeah. If too much detail would be hard. And it was. So that's why she already had that all mm -hmm. ready. And so then I thought, well, I'll do something simpler. And maybe it'll show up better. <laughs> so I did something a little mm -hmm. simpler. The uh, monstera leaf. It's not completely done. But we decided that was... I mean, this 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 works. We just there needs to be some tweaking to this. There needs to be an outline, um, mm -hmm. uh, more of the detail work like that. Um, but for our kits, something something, you know, without the detail to get you used to using the punch and and whatnot is the route we're going to go. Yeah, and this isn't done. Mm -hmm. I just started adding the white yarn around to get the the detail of mm -hmm. the different parts of the monstera leaf, but mm -hmm. I would, I'm going to keep going out farther. Yeah. But it does look just nice. to mm -hmm. be, have something to show you guys. Mm -hmm. And then we this wanted way. to see what the variegation looks like. So I don't like, know yeah. if that shows up or not. I don't know. I'm we very happy see. with yeah. the variegation. Yeah, that looks very nice. Because if it was a solid blue, green, yeah. it which would be is hard to see on here too. Not the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as happy, as happy with that aspect. Oh, she's going to a concert. That's nice. Somebody's going to oh. a concert. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Okay. All right, so that's, that's, we're still going through our creativity year. Mm -hmm. And Punch Needle is, is this month. So yes, which was a continuation mm -hmm. from last month because we got so intrigued with it. Mm -hmm. and, and then it's inspired us to do the kits, and so we spun the yarn, and now we're trying to figure out what to dye the yarn for what the kits are going to be. So that's been But super we're pretty fun. happy with leaves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or plants. Yep. And so we're going to yeah. work on that. Yeah. And then I think we have the plan for next month, but... But we're not going to say that yet. <laughs> we did have a couple questions last month. Mm -mm. Last week. 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 Seems okay. like a month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. So, when will the animals that will live in the barn be coming? When the barn's done. That's a good question. Or when the fence is up. When the fence is up, mainly. Um, Hopefully this... Summer. Summer. Spring might be pushing it, so summer. Seems that everybody is too busy, including our husbands. I and know. So, so it's tough. So Teresa and I decided, you know what? We might just have to fence it up ourselves. See how that yeah, would go. And we're going to start, mm -hmm. start with a smaller group. Mm-hmm. Even and if then it's add two on. or three, just to have them here, mm -hmm. I think is important. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. that is a goal for this summer. It is. And then is there money for a new coat of paint for that beautiful barn? And we did get a donation, which I don't really want to say who it was from because I have not asked permission for that. So I will wait with that and ask permission if, if that donor would would um, if it's okay for us to reveal uh, that donor but it, it was for a substantial amount to put towards the renovations of the barn so we're pretty excited about that so yes we are and mm -hmm. and the question was is there money for a new coat of paint one thing that we really like the patina <laughs> so we were going to clear coat it to protect the wood and to to stop causing further deterioration yeah. Plus, there's a lot of um, like structural things that need to happen, new windows and mm -hmm. and the north sill plate and the doors. Yes, <laughs> there's a few. The, the first thing being a good clean out to 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 be able to to get the folks in there to really assess what all needs to be structurally um, shored up to to yeah 
And then we can, you know, finish the the stalls on the inside and electrical and yeah. some of that stuff. We would so. really like to get that going mm -hmm. before it further deteriorates. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So that is definitely a goal for this summer. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. And we do have the 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 um, roofing material and I was really yeah. hoping to get that up last year, but that never happened. So, mm -hmm. anywho. So last week's question, how many bunnies were made at the Bear Creek Bunny Retreat that was held here at the beginning of March? Mm -hmm. And there was 12 participants mm -hmm. and myself, and we made 45 bunnies mm -hmm. in five days. Mm -hmm. That's pretty amazing. And they're so cute. So, so cute. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. the winner was Gail Brower. Uh, you hit it right on the nose. Yeah. With 45. So you just need to contact us, uh, bearcreekfelding.com on the contact form. Mm-hmm. And we will send out your prize. Give us your shirt size and your address. Yes. So next week's question is, we're curious what um, you folks, we've been talking about, you know, doing these, these uh, punch needle kits. What, and we want them to be beginner. So what, what would, would you guys like to see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we had originally thought a sheep or yeah, uh, or something. And then we went to like a North Dakota stuff, and then yeah, yeah. And then I then I tried variety. this and, and decided detail too, work too detailed is is not so what we want to start ideas, with. So that would be a good idea for a punch needle kit that you'd like to see. Let us know. Yeah, and in the comments section below, and mm -hmm. then you'll be put in for the a prize. prize. Yes, which is fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have lots of upcoming classes and retreats. Uh, just coming up, the beginning of April is the Taste of Fiber Retreat. Very uh, popular. It is very popular. And mm -hmm. it's a, you just get a taste of each of the fiber arts uh, from weaving, spinning, dyeing, mm -hmm. crochet. Um, I know I'm going to forget something. Uh, but um, it's just a, a, there's like mm -hmm. carding, like in this picture. <laughs> Uh, yes. But just yeah. a variety, and Julie and Jeannie are the teachers, and they're excellent teachers. Excellent teachers. Everybody mm -hmm. enjoys it mm -hmm. and has a blast. Yes. So there's still room in that. So Which you I'm can shocked. Sign up yeah. at schoolhouse.com to sign up for mm -hmm. to come and be a part of that, and that is Thursday through Saturday. Mm -hmm. And then everything is included in that. Absolutely. Uh, and All then everything. Uh, in May, the beginning of May, uh, we have Julie and Jeannie again are doing, they take their taste of fiber retreat and kind of split it up so that you can come just for one of the classes. So if you didn't want to do mm -hmm. all of the taste of fiber, mm -hmm. you could come and take individual classes or you could take them all. Mm -hmm. You could come and stay for all of those days, which is May 3rd and 4th, mm -hmm. uh, and take all of the classes or you can just take um, which ones you want. One, two, three. Right. Mm -hmm. And there's spinning, dyeing, uh, inkle loom weaving, and weaving on a rigid pedal. Mm -hmm. And then Creativity Camp is coming up in June. Again, which was super fun. It was. Super fun. And there's still room in that. And we would love to have you come and mm -hmm. stay with us and be creative with us. Uh, I ha did add a new needle felting mastery retreat uh, in... June 24th through 28th. Well, that one's full. Oh, <laughs> The June one is full, but I did add another one in the fall, which isn't in this one yet. It's in, mm. I think it's in October, but check that out at gnomeschoolhouse.com. And what is that? That one what is, is, how uh, does that differ from? So that would differ from it's a, like the safari. Mm -hmm. The safari is a little more advanced where the needle felting mastery, we start out at the very basic level, mm -hmm. uh, just getting you introduced to needle felting. And then we work our way up. Uh, through several different projects, so you'll complete, I don't know, up to four or five, six projects, depending on um, how everybody does. And yes. so you just get, uh, you know, it's a good start, mm -hmm. uh, an in-person start. Uh, and then everything is included in that. Uh, the fall one is going to have more fall things, mm -hmm. uh, um, mm -hmm. such as pumpkins and turkey uh, than this one in June. Mm -hmm. That's how that will differ. But everything is included in that. We'll pick you up from the airport. Uh, we'll bring you back to the airport, all of your food, 
uh, your lodging, everything mm -hmm. is is included. So you can check that all out at mm -hmm. gnomeschoolhouse.com. There's several other classes uh, on the website as well. Those are just ones that we're thinking of right now. Mm -hmm. And we're adding more all the time. So, so keep if checking. you know of a teacher or you are a teacher and would love to teach here, uh, let us know. Just get a hold of us and <coughs> get a class scheduled. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thank you. So pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, this airs tomorrow morning. I am going to be editing it. Yes, yeah. generally we do this, you know, Tuesday night, but because we of were. shearing, so this is all good. Yeah, so, yeah, we've had a good, good week, busy yes. week, but good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, God bless you all. Bye-bye, folks.